Thank you, Miguel Angel. It's really praiseworthy. The three students were very autonomous. I didn't do much. And uh, let me tell you that they are great projects, in my opinion, and very praiseworthy. As you saw in the program, there are four projects. I told you before, one of my students could not come to the conference today. So please let me know if I'm not good with time, because I cannot chair myself. I know I am the chairperson, but you tell me if I'm wrong with uh, time, with the timing, OK? OK, here we go. The, the last project is about using a methodology for the location of civil equipment in the municipality of Mislata using geographic information systems, of course. The idea was to find the right location for a library. Let me give you a few data on the context, on the setting. Mislata is a suburban town very close to Valencia. It is very, very densely populated. The area is very small for the population it caters for. In fact, it is the most uh, densely populated town in, uh, in, in Spain because the, the town only has two square kilometers. Right, the methodology. Um, a first uh, screening was carried out to try and identify the best location for the library. And a study was made about existing facilities for this library. A number of criteria were, were set, and using a spreadsheet, the idea was to obtain a score for the potential locations, for the candidate locations. OK, these are the initial facilities, the starting facilities, the candidates. And one of the criteria which had to be addressed was the population. We knew the population in general for Ms. Lata, but we didn't have the population for each block, urban block. So we tried to elicit the number of inhabitants per block for Ms. Lata. It was simplified, but for us to obtain the population in each of the candidate facilities, we distributed evenly the population per square meter. So we took all the residential lots and the buildings with the number of floors, and then we divided the population into square meters. We did a preliminary filtering to rule out those candidate facilities which did not meet the minimum area, 100 meters, and we then ended up with a lower number of candidate locations. We then applied them, the suitability criteria or requirement. We thought that for a library, the location had to be close to schools and colleges. Ideally, if a library is located near such areas, such centers, obviously it's more beneficial for users. So that was a positive point in the score. Another requirement was to 
be close to a sports center because who knows, you are a parent, you take your kids to the swimming pool. What do you do in the meantime? Well, you go to the library, why not? So we thought this type of sports facilities could be positive and other criteria were responsible for the bad marks in the total score. And so they were criteria for ruling these facilities out. If you've been to Mislata, you probably know how difficult it is to park your vehicle. You can go on foot to most places, obviously, but we thought it could be ideal or it could be nice to have a nearby car park and to be close to the bus station, sorry, the bus stops and the underground stops. Public transport, of course. Another requirement which could be favorable, and here the student uh, studied the areas which were more commercially oriented and said uh, different priorities, high, average, and low. He staked the areas with the higher number of shops because that could be a favorable criteria. More flows of people. Based on that, we developed the alternatives and we then assigned marks to the different criteria. This was done by the student with his methodology. And obviously, these criteria are subjective. Uh, it, it varies. But these were the criteria and the, the weight assigned. And then each criterion was ranked. For example, a bus stop. The minimum mark was zero and the maximum one was four. So a location with no bus stops around would, would score zero. Those areas or locations with more bus stops or underground stops would have a higher score. So these were the marking criteria. Based on that, each candidate location and on the left hand side you have the columns with the codes of the facility or location and then with a spreadsheet we put all criteria together and we finally had a final score which you can see on the bottom chart on the bottom table we can see that the highest mark goes to the cultural center on Ehea Avenue, which, according to the study, was the optimum location for the library. A few conclusions. Well, the goal was not to overcome a real specific problem, but to establish a methodology using GIS to be used um, for this type of purpose as a tool, to be used as a tool for decision making. On behalf of my student, I thank you all for your attention. And we'll be pleased to answer your questions about any of the four presentations.